Hi, good people from all around the world. This is Nick from OVA Let's Plays. Welcome back to the X10 Calamity. Last episode, we beat the Lunatic Cultist. We got the events going. We just unlocked the Baleful Harvester, which seems so far to be our most powerful weapon. It's just really off. Look at that. It's going to serve us well for the events. It travels really fast, has a lot of projectiles, and then goes a long way. So I'm hoping that will help us a lot. really good at destroying enemies. I can't wait to see what the Arc of the Elements in the Omega Blade, Omega Biome Blade. Up, oh, we've already beat it that quick, guys. Yeah, the Baleful Harvester is definitely very powerful. Very powerful. We got lots of meld bars, too, for when we beat the Moon Lord. We'll get that armor. Well, it was meld bars a long time ago. Now it's construct or something like that. You can mix it with stardust and you can make construct. The only part trouble I see with beating the enemies to get the... It's really great overall. Not freaking perforator trying to fight us at this point. The only bad part I can see is that sometimes it goes... It's definitely an upgrade to vanilla because normally getting these fragments are a pain, but... Now they drop from the, the enemies of the event, so that helps out a lot. Calamity really, really improves upon Vanilla Terraria. It's, it's a really, really great extension to the game. Alright, where's the next one? The next one here, the Stardust one. I almost wish there was an upgrade to the Stardust Dragon. That would be... There technically is an indirect upgrade with the Mech Dragon, but I wish you could combine the Mech Dragon with the other one. Um, to make... I don't know. go. Oh, man. Look at all those blurs. Those pixels shooting around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's right. That's right. I need to clear more space so I can pick up the stardust fragments here. Yeah. get the galactic singularity what is that oh plague cell canister I don't, I don't want that not really no oh man here you are right right get all the fragments we just have one more to beat and then we get to see if we can beat moon lord or not now the funny thing is I know already from experimenting with the X10 mod that Moon Lord is normal size. <laughs> Last time I played with the X10 mod at least, through the vanilla playthrough. But um, yeah, there's some enemies that are just massive, but there's some like King Slime that are normal size and his minions, the blue slimes that drop from him are bigger than he is. It's crazy. So we're getting plenty of meld blobs for the meld construct. Not at you again. All right, so we got to warp back home at this point. Freaking flashbacks for the flash flashes, guys. It's horrible. Sorry about that. It's a, it's a side effect of the X10 mod. It uses items ten times. Oh, watch out! Yeah, it travels such a long distance. I think it went away right there, but. Compared to other projectiles, it moves fast. It starts off slow, but then it picks up speed. So you can really get a bunch of them in a row. And then charge it on your target. The 
last one is over just past the dungeon. And then I think we fight Ostrom Deuce. Deuce. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, in which case I apologize, but. But we do that after the Moon Lord. Man, this is so cool. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I forgot to summon my minion. There we go. Get a bunch of them going already, right beforehand. There. There we go. Okay, come on. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Impending doom approaches. You know what that means. Time to break out the calamari. Not get these freaking fragments though. Some of them are just really out of range. Yep. Alright, we better warp home pretty soon here. I'm just gonna collect some more of these fragments. Come on. And this one as well. Yes, yes. We're gonna need the singularity to craft a bunch of things. Bunches and bunches of things. And. Go. Can we beat him? No, we can't. We died. That is always a letdown when that happens. I hate that. I hate that. Ugh. I don't even know how I died either. Well, we got a bunch of stuff, so let's see here. We got seven of those. That's probably not enough to craft much of anything. We got the meld constructions. Shard of the number. 3,000. Luckily we got cheat cheat still, we can summon the Moon Lord again. <laughs> At least we don't have to wait for that. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of these. And I'm gonna get my minion too. And the buff. Minus the battle potion, I don't need that. See, I don't even know what's hitting me. Like, I don't, I don't even know what's hitting me, guys. The hell? All right, what can we make with this? Let's see what we got here. Okay, Moonstone Crown, no. No, not yet. to the elements, but we need the freaking Luminite bar. That wouldn't be right. 
We need a star rats post moon lord too. I bet almost all this is post moon lord. Hmm. Astral beacon. We could get the astral armor. We could try for that. Make the Oreo cell, that's that's weird. Get away. Auric toilet. This was used by the gods. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's a reference to the Terraria toilet. Try to fight him again. Let's try to fight him again. If not, we'll get the astral armor and we'll see if that can help us at all. I'm just gonna run and attack. That's all I'm gonna do. Alright, I was able to beat him by running and attacking. <laughs> Alright, okie dokie. Beat him, guys. Yay! Took a while, but we did it. Celestial onion. Oh, wow. Yes. Get another accessory. That's good. Another accessory slot. We got luminite. This used to craft anything. Yeah. Prism. I know that's used to craft something. Oh. Cause the freaking. There we go. A dark spark. We might save that. That might come in handy here later on. That can't be used for anything. Galactic globe, can that be used for anything? Or gravity globe, no. If, if we had Fargo's installed, it would be used for something. I remember that, but... Okie dokie. Now let's see. Get some luminite bars here. Let's see what... I think we should make armor first, because we can fight the Moon Lord more. Like, easier. Uh, uh, prioritize armor first. There we go. Empyrean Mask. That's the only thing we were able to make so far. We don't have enough mill construction. We got enough meld blobs, but we need more to start. We need to go to the, uh, we need to go to, we need to go to the astral area and get some more, uh, stardust to go with the meld blobs for the meld constructs. And you won't believe the pickaxe how much range it's gonna have. It's gonna be crazy. I, I I was taking I was looking at the recipe what we can do with the meld constructs and I saw the pickaxe and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be insane. You guys won't believe it when you until you see it. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, where are the enemies? Maybe this will help. There we go, we can see clearly now. Stardust, here we go. Get as much stardust as we can get. 
Now, yes, I could use the cheat sheet mod, but I only use that when I'm really stuck or, or it's just going to be a pain otherwise. And this is relatively easy and not time consuming. If it's going to consume a lot of time or if it's going to be a pain in the ass, then, then I'll use the cheat sheet. But it's like when I lost that freaking horseman's blade after trying to beat the after beating the pumpkin moon twice, it was like, this is not worth it. Pain. Okay, let's see. How much stardust do we have? 30 versus how many mel block? 52. We're almost there, guys. We're getting closer. Oh, man. Yes. Last morning is gonna be so cool and eventually what the hell is that thing? I keep trying to f figure out the name of it, but then it, uh, it moves. Well, it's dead now, whatever it was. You killed the Moon Lord's dog! I would feel so sad. In horror movies, I almost never feel sorry about the people dying in the movies, but it's always when the dog gets killed, I'm like, then you monster. You monster. Yeah. Alright. Let's go home. I'll use this warp instead, because that way it doesn't blink and flash a bunch of times. I, I don't know if this is a side effect of the freaking X10 mod, but the wing, how much you can fly, the duration for how long you can fly is horrible. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm excited to make the Ark of the Elements, but... First, we need to see if we can make these mouth constructs here. Make some more. Enough to make the armor, hopefully. Let's see. 39 mel constructs. We're running out of mel blobs. What does that get us in terms of armor here? Let's see. Well, it gets us enough so we get the pickaxe. Which, if his stats are crazy, guys. 60 plus range. Oh, the armor's up here. Okay. Imperial cloak. Shoot. You're gonna need a lot more. Alright. Save time. We'll get us some more constructs. So otherwise, we're gonna have to fight the events again, and it's gonna be a pain in the. At least to record off screen, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but for you guys. Alright, so. Imperium mask. Float and pants. Alright, so here we go. So right now our defense is 674. I want to see if this is used, if we need to keep this for anything. No, we don't need to keep it. Okay, good about this? Is this used to craft anything? Nope. Alright. So our defense. Run out of luminite. Shoot. Alright. We have to get more luminite. Let's get some more here. There we go. And then we got the pants. All right, so our defense is 674. Oh my god. Oh, the helmet was... Okay. Oh, this is all... This is rogue armor. Okay. Darn it. Oh, well, at least our defense... Is our defense any better? Let's 
to... Yeah, it's still better, okay. So even though it's real, I'm not a big fan of Rogue, I, I just don't like Rogue, or I don't see a point in it really, but it's not not for me. But people who do like Rogue Armor, Rogue, the class, you know, probably like this one. So, but pretty soon we're going to get the Umbaloom Armor or whatever it is, so that will help. But... More importantly than that, we'll be able to craft the, um, the Ark of the Element, the true Ark of the Elements. Or the Ark of the Elements, let's see here. Alright, so what do we need? We need five, we got that. Four Calamity, I'm pretty sure we got that somewhere here. Yeah, we got, we got plenty of that. Life Alloy, we got that, and we got, yeah. We should be able to make it, guys. I'm gonna put this back in the weapons here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Freaking clouds are annoying me. It's rained so freaking often. I miss it when it was life bars. It was. But sometimes there are improvements that are. I had it. I know I had. Oh, it's up here because it's a bar. See, that's what confuses me. It says alloy, which makes me think it's an ore, but it's not an ore. It's a. It's a bar. That's. I think why I don't like it so much. What are we missing? What are we freaking missing? Aside from my sanity. Okay. Got the Luminite. Got the, we got the Life Alloy now. We got the Galactic Singularity. We got Luminite. Okay, let's line all these up here. got everything we probably need here. What's the deal? <sighs> oh, it's because I'm not in front of the... Okay. That was stupid. Because <laughs> I'm not in front of the freaking... There you go, Ark of the Elements. Yes. Oh. This kind of feels almost like a downgrade. Except for the rainbow, because there's not no stars that come down. But look at the, if you look at the homing things. So what do we need for the next one after this? I bet we, this is post-dog, I bet you. Yeah, it's the Ark of the Cosmos. Oh, Lord, that's the final one. Yeah, that's almost... That's definitely post devour of God. That's... That's way later. Alright, so this is the upgrade for a while. Does it home, though? Let's see. I wonder. Can we come across another enemy? Let's see if it homes in on anything. Where is it? Alright, never mind. Let's check out the biome blade next. That we can craft. We'll need to get more Galactica singularities though. There we go. Alright, so. True biome blade, where's the Omega one? Uh, almost the same, some very similar recipe. Very, very similar. There we 
go. The Omega Biome Blade. Alright, let's do a quick comparison here. This does... This does a lot less damage, but I bet the functionality is better. Yeah, like the blades here, they're cool and everything, but they don't travel that far that quickly. The range of the blade itself is, of course, good because it's... But of the two, I, I prefer Arc the Elements. I think the, those things do pull them in. I think they do. What's the next step after Omega Blade is the... Galactica Galaxia. That's post dog. And so that probably is better than that. For, it gets there, but it'll be a while before we get there. All right, now, now it's time to check out that pickaxe. So this one does 2,000 pickaxe power. There it is. Okay, Genesis pickaxe. 2,250% pickaxe power. 60 range. 60 range. This one has only 10. Oh, man. That is going to be awesome. What else? Blade of Enemy. And a great bow. Lunar Kunai. That'll probably be good with the armor that I got on. Let's see, there was other things with the singularity that I think you can craft. Let's let's see here. Could have sworn there's boots uh, that can be used with the angel treads. Well, let's see, check that out first. Serif tracers. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. In fact, we, I think we yep we got everything we need. We just need to put this here, and we need to put our wings, these wings here, in there. Should be able to do it. Yep, there we go, guys. All right. Flight time 120. What's the flight time on these? Oh, this should, this should be better. There we go, and we opened up a new, another accessory. I have no accessories right now. <laughs> no accessories to put there, but. But there we go. We got better speed. I think we got even better flight time. Now let's see if these home in. I don't think they do. They do if they're close enough. So I think this is still a better... I kind of miss the stars. The stars was cool, but the homing properties are just going to help out a lot more. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, we got the Asgard's Valor. What can we do with that? Oh, that's that's not gonna that's gonna be post dog, for sure. Okay, ocean crest, luminous amulet. Can we do anything with that? No, that's not how it is. That's gonna be post dog as well. Alrighty, we're gonna have to find some new accessories off screen. Probably get them through cheat sheet, like the sponge or something. Let's see if the sponge that is something we could conceivably get. It would just take loads of time to get it, though. No, that's that's the absorber. We might be able to get that. The absorber. That's not so post dog as the other one. Is this something we could technically get? I think so. I don't know, guys. I'll figure it out off screen. I have no idea where to go from here. I think we can fight Astrum Deuce. Let's. Astrum Dose, or. I have, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. The blades do go through the walls, though, so there is that, so that helps. It. Did we craft? I think I was looking at it before. Luminite bars. 
think you need luminite for it. No, oh, that wasn't it. It was the stand thing that you can use to fight. Oh, man. All right. Let's look it up really quick. I think you need Stardust for it, so we can check with Stardust. We have that anywhere here. Or we need the Singularity for it too, I think. Too. Some type of stand. Astral Beacon, that's the one. But what's the Aureus though? No idea. I have no idea. I have to look that up on the Calamity Mod Wiki. Come on, load. Fight Astromorius first. How do you summon that guy? After. Oh, it drops a new mount. Astral Chunk. Okay. Alright, let's do that then. Think you're tough, Cloud? You're not tough. No. Neither am I, though. Clicking it. Does that have to be at night? I bet it has to be at night. That's the thing, huh? I'm gonna die bef from these guys before I even summon it. Okay. Yep. Oh god, it's massive. Oh. I thought we killed it. Shoot. We will beat it, guys. Almost there. Queen B. It's weird. And we beat it this time. Yay! Summon my. Hopefully, we'll take keep him at bay for a little bit here. It's long enough to. I love you, Baba. Oh, this thing is kind of cool. Oh wow. 
there an upgrade to that? Let's see. Nope, but it looks beautiful though. I love my Pepe. My beautiful Pepe. Okay, so there's that. That's what I needed for the thing, okay. You know what, while we're here anyways, I'm gonna get the beacon, and then we're gonna fight Ostrom Deuce. <laughs> okay, where can I, I'm gonna have to clear some space here. the hell? This killed me. I don't even know. Does it tell you down there? Huh? It doesn't tell you down there what killed you? Uh, I think sometimes it does. I just did, but I couldn't catch oh. it. Oh. It's okay. Thank you, Bubba. I love you. She's the best. I try. She was gone for a while out outside, but she's back home. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so I cleared some space here. Hopefully we'll be able to place the thank god place it down. We need something to summon it. I forget what, what it is, though. Take on Astrum Dose and then we'll beat it, and then that'll be the end of the episode, guys. Oh, that is so pretty the way they do that. I got, yep. How am I supposed to beat that thing? It's freaking crazy. Uh, at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you in the next episode. I have no idea what I'll be doing in the next episode because that thing looks like, with a 10x mod <laughs> and how big that is. I might have to take on something else instead. I don't know. But at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.